Oh, new, new, new. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, I was so distracted. New. New, new. New, new, right, new, new. Well, that was my 4.33 minutes of new silence. Um, okay, first up, we've got from iRobot, we've got the Create 3, which we, um, we had the Create 2, and now we have upgraded to the Create 3. This is basically, this is cool because, you, you know, you and I met over Roomba hacking. Yes. People used to take Roomba robots and you would plug into like the debug port and you'd be able to control it. And people were doing this and like, I think iRobot was like, oh wow, that's kind of an interesting idea. Um, yeah, of course, you know, you want to build robots, but the most annoying part of building a robot is the chassis and the motor driver and the, you know, yeah. drawing the it's sensors. my favorite robot base because I'm like, if it's they've really made strong. millions of robots that it's the most successful household robot. If they've figured that out, this is what I want as a robo chassis. Yeah. Um, so it's not, you know, I even like that they've got like little drill spots and everything. Um, it, so it's basically like the guts of like the iRobot robot, but it, it's not like, it's not like they just removed the vacuum. Like it is redesigned specifically, but it, it's designed based on yeah. um, the iRobot. So just so you know, it does not do any vacuum. The tagline isn't, it's all the parts that don't suck. But that could be. That could be. <laughs> um, so it's, what's cool is it's now got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. They've updated it. You no longer need a cable. Uh, so you can control it remotely. They've got uh, a Python web editor. Um, they've got like all sorts of example yeah. code for sensors. It's they've got a sensor good. port. Um, it's, it's really neat. I like that they are continuing to do this. You know, I know that, um, you know, iRobot, I think they've got purchased and I, I know that yep. they, they are still, <clears throat> you know, making robots for homes and making robots for industry. Um, but they, their, their roots are from, you know, college kids who'd like to hack together robots. And I'm glad that they, um, are coming back to it. So I think this is a really nice upgrade. It's a really good deal. Like you would not be able to build this kind of quality robot chassis for the $300 at this cost. Like it is, it, believe me, like the motors and the battery and the charger and the case and the injection molder and the sensing and the Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection, it is cheaper just to get this and hack what you want onto it. Yeah, and then here's a little and video. And it runs a, a ROS as well. Built from the blueprint of a Roomba robot vacuum, meet the Create 3 educational robot iRobot's new mobile robot development platform for learning ROS2. A canvas for your creativity, the Create 3 arrives pre-assembled and ready to go with a suite of smart technology. Program the Create 3 to perform simple behaviors, sounds, and movements to grasp the fundamentals of robotics, computer science, and engineering. Or tap into advanced applications including autonomous localization, navigation, and telepresence. The Create 3 lets you mount and power payloads, connect and run third-party hardware, use its cargo bay for storage, and dock the robot on its home base charging station. As a connected robot, you can talk to the Create 3 in multiple ways and choose between running ROS2, the iRobot coding app, or iRobot Education's Python web playground. Looking for ways to get started? Explore the iRobot Education Learning Library for basic tutorials and sample projects. Or check out the 3D simulation of the Create 3 using Ignition Gazebo or the iRobot Coding app for increased access to robotics education and research. What will you create? Next up. Next up, uh, by popular request, we have another PIR sensor. This is a mini all-in-one PIR sensor that is, you know, PCB or breadboard compatible. Uh, PIR sensors are great for detecting um, small animals or humans, basically warm things uh, that uh, reflect IR radiation. Um, so these work about five meters away. Uh, we've carried like the standard four pin version for quite a bit where it's like power ground, you know, delay time and output. Um, this one has an output enable pin and also adds a sensitivity pin so you can adjust how sensitive it is. Um, so if you're, you know, need a little bit more control over your PIR, you'll need to add the external uh, resistor divider, but um, these sensors are a, a very easy and handy way to um, make a pretty advanced, but, you know, project embeddable uh, PIR sensor for detecting human motion. And the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, our community, and all the people who come together to show and share all the important things in the world of technology. 
that you build yourself. Yes. Is this product tonight? It's the Mac 17048. So the reason we have this is we love the LC709203 LiPo um, charge monitor and fuel gauge. Uh, it doesn't use an R sense and it's very inexpensive and it uses I squared C. Unfortunately, it is end of line. And while we still can get the LC709203, eventually we will not be able to because it's no longer being made. Uh, so once we exhaust our reserves, uh, we'll probably switch over to this, the BAC17048, which uh, like the LC chip is a fuel gauge that is, um, uh, it does not require an R-Sense. You just you know plug the battery and then it monitors the battery while it's under load. Um, this one has some neat things like, for example, in addition to, of course, voltage and percentage, it'll also tell you the charge or discharge rate, which is handy. Uh, so if you uh, go back one, you can see on the uh, screen, you know, um, it running, you know, the battery is running the feather and the OLED. Uh, it's a good, pretty powerful feather. So it's it, the charge rate's going down 21% an hour. And this is handy if you're like, you're, you know, you want to estimate whether your um, battery, how long it's going to take your battery to run out. So obviously you can just always just time it with a timer, see how long your project runs. But um, with this, it's uh, quite nice because you can, um, see, okay, 21%, that means this will last five hours on this battery. So uh, as you, um, you know, try swapping out different batteries, you can see what the uh, rate is of change. Uh, it also has a lot of low power modes and alert modes. It has an interrupt output. If you want to be interrupted when the charge rate goes above or below a certain amount, the voltage percentage goes above or below a certain amount. And uh, it's controllable over I squared C. So we've got um, Arduino and Circuit Python slash Python code available for it. And that's new products. I forgot to sing the new song before, so I'm singing it twice. That's okay. New 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 new.